Welcome to Edinburgh TV and Walk and Talk this week with James Craig. And James, thanks for joining us. No, thanks for being invited. Uh, watched the uh, the first first episode <laughs> last week with Rav, and uh, no, it's nice to be asked to do episode two. No, that's a pleasure. So, um, I mean, we'll jump right into it. How, how's life been since you came to uh, to Edinburgh? Yeah, I loved it. Being you know living kind of like um, locally to the city uh, and knowing um, the gaffer and Mark Kerr, it seemed like a, a, a good fit. Uh, and I've really enjoyed my time here. Uh, so, so far, obviously played uh, a lot of football, which which, which always helps. Uh, the team have had a good season as well. Um, so yeah, no, it's been a it's been a great start to my life here at Edinburgh. And I mean, you've you've had a few goals this season, as far as I can remember. <laughs> uh, apologies if I miss more than a few. Yeah. But obviously, have you been working on that and training the right le right leg, left leg? It doesn't matter what leg you seem to have. <laughs> it seems to just, you just put it on the on the on the fifty p, don't you? Yeah, I've always been blessed. I've always been blessed <laughs> with um, with being quite you know quite good with with, with both feet. Mm. As I was a, a little kid, my dad always used to say, kind of like, uh, go and use your right foot, then uh, you use your left foot. Um, so I've always yeah, been quite fortunate and uh, no matter what, the, what side the ball is on, uh, no, I use the right and uh, I think the manager always, you know, he takes, uh, uh, he, he winds me up because he's, he's not sure what foot I am at the moment because obviously <laughs> I take corners with, with, with both feet, uh, which is a nice, it's, a, yeah, yeah. it's nice of him to say. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, played, scored a couple uh, goals on my debut uh, and then um, played in more of a kind of like a defensive role uh, for the majority of my time here. Um, but within games, I've been pushed forward at times as well and it was nice to, Nice to get on the score sheet uh, on Friday night, albeit um, just a shame it was a, it was a loss and it was a three 0 at the time. It's it's always well. It's, we, let's face it, it's always difficult playing the, the full time teams, isn't it? You, you always come up against people who train, you know, pretty much train and play, train and play. That's kind of their their job, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so. no, it, it is, it is. But I think you know, frustrating for us is that we can go to East End Park last week mm -hmm. and put in a fantastic performance, and you know, you know. Some may argue be the better side, and then we put we we do a good first half performance uh, on on Friday night against Queens, and then the second half we did, we didn't really turn up turn up really. So you know we can use you know internally about the the excuse of playing a full time team, but they're the aspirations we want to be beating full time teams, and you know we need we need to be taking more points off, off those sides, uh, and that's something that you know we'll be aiming to aiming to do for the rest of this season and, and in the future. So you've played at Dunfermline, you've played at Party, these full-time teams. <laughs> yeah. What was it that drew you to Edinburgh? Obviously, Edinburgh's a, a professional but part-time football team. What was the the attraction to the to coming here and to the capital city? Yeah. So I transitioned into kind of part-time football um, after the first kind of lockdown during COVID, mm -hmm. um, but we weren't sure what was happening. And, and Dick Campbell, uh, our broke off of me a, a three-year contract. I'd already worked with him previously. Um, so yes, I'd been part time before at a club, um, successful time um, with our with our growth, um, and then you know when when things kind of weren't working out up there, and I quite fancied a change. It was a natural fit, really. With with first of all, you kind of like you, you're thinking, are you going to go full time? We're going to go part time. Uh, part time was obviously the obvious <laughs> option. So that kind of ruled a few a fair few clubs out. And then if you look at location wise, I stayed ten minutes from here as well. Mm -hmm. I knew the management team. Uh, so that was a that, that was a big pull driving factor. It's a club that was on the up. They started the season well before I arrived. I think the first four or five games have done it's well. It's funny because we played our both like literally the first league. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, the game of the league cup. Yeah, yeah, I actually league, yeah for, exactly. I was going to say for yeah. our both here. I think Bobby Lim came on and scored two <laughs> two. What, I'll never forget that goal. Two one okay. two wonder goals, and that's what Bobby can. That's what Bobby can do. Um, so yeah, so I knew obviously you know the, the setup here was good. Uh, I knew that. Um, and the gaffer and Kurza would be kind of like the training uh, they put on would yeah. be of a, of a really high standard, uh, which, which it has been. So I'm not being surprised by that. And how, how do you know the, the gaffer and Marcus that you've worked with them so before? So Falkirk, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Kurza was my uh, my captain at Falkirk. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we often, you know, showing my age a bit now as well, but uh, <laughs> we often played centre midfield together. Ah, um, okay. Yeah, so he was a bit more defensive. I just played in front of him. So, you know, I, I knew him from there. And we had a good season where we got to um, the playoffs there um, and possibly should have, you know, should have really really gone up uh, and then the gaffer there was also kind of like a, a first team coach and he was also looking after um the under 20 side at falkirk uh, so i knew them there for you know 18 months two two years do you, do you miss the smokies at Arbor? um I've, yeah. I've, not, I've not had one in a while yeah. but... oh the smokies i thought you meant mr t <laughs> i actually never had one i'll be honest really with you. no oh, i never had one no. i never had one i never got uh, I never i never tried one but no it was to be fair what i would say about our is great community club yeah. and now a club that you know They've been on that journey who are, you know, again, over 1,600 home fans 
uh, in at a part-time level it just shows yeah. how far they've come and it's something that you know, the other part-time clubs can, can can really aim for really if they can you know maintain and it shows it's possible for a part-time club to compete with the full-time clubs uh, and you know and transition into a championship team how do you reflect on this season for yourself obviously you've come in made a, a fantastic impact to the squad to the games that you've played you've pretty much been one of the first names on the team sheet I don't think I've ever done a a socials graphic, you know, on the match day without, <laughs> without typing your name in. So, I mean, it must be a good feeling to know you just come straight in and into the squad. Yeah, no, I'm happy. I'm happy with my, my, my performance levels. Um, I think it's this probably the story of my, the latter half of my career being asked to do different roles, mm -hmm. which he doesn't mind, but it shows you be, you're being valued as well. Yeah. And, you know, I'd always continue to do that. No matter where the manager wants me to play, I'm going to give 120%. So, no, on a personal note, I've been happy with performance. Managed to um, rack up a couple of assists as well. Uh, which has been positive and, and just trying to affect games really. Um, I think there's more in the tank. I don't think I'd be sat here. I'm completely, completely. <laughs> to happy. be fair, you're what thirty. Yeah, well, yeah, not just, even that. Yeah. Well, in my eyes, thirty <laughs> isn't old in football. It's more like prime years. But yeah, yeah, no. Um, so is what I know. I think, yeah, so, <laughs> so no, but there's more. There's more, more things that I can be doing as well. And you know, I, I love football. I still want to play football. You know, long into my kind of like mid, mid to late thirties as well. So well, I'm Curse always started against this goal. So <laughs> well, exactly. So I'm. I'm I, <laughs> well, he came on anyway. So yeah, you, you know. Yeah, so I, I kind of look at my performance as well, and I analyze kind of the games. It's great that we, you know, we have the games filmed and stuff like that, and that gets put. Uh, on the database as well, so I'm always looking to, to improve on a personal level. Uh, but I've, no, I've enjoyed it. Any football will tell you they want to play games, mm -hmm. but they know that in order to play every single week, you need to be turning out performances really. And uh, you know, going forward, back, as you said, back end of your career, are you looking to get into that? Have you kind of looked at Alan and Curzo as a kind of inspiration? Say, right, maybe a Kangwin to coaching, or is that your? Well, you've got your business, don't you? So is that your your long term? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, and I've always thought about the coaching. I think more seriously as you get a bit older, you kind of, like, it's, it's a bit more on the kind of like a, on, the, on the menu, or you know, there's more conversation about it. You know, I'm not at that position just quite, quite, quite yet. But it's something that you know, when you see kind of it being run uh, from the management team here, that you know, it, it excites me. And you know, I'm never going to say. And never, I'm not going to get into it. But you start picking up things from different yeah. managers. You know, there's all things, and I'm sure that Curzo and, and the Gaffer will say the same. You know, you start picking up things uh, from all the managers you've been at over the clubs, and yeah, yeah. you might be thinking it might be good things, and it, and it might be things that you're not going to not, yeah. not going to do and implement. Yeah, well, that's um, it. I mean, Alan's Alan's probably going to kill me for saying this, but I I see a lot of what he's maybe learned that leads in his management style. Oh, really? Do, yeah. yeah. When I'm looking at Edinburgh playing and the kind of attacking yeah. play that we have, I always think, well, Leeds were a lot like that in Alan's yeah. time when he when he was at Leeds. So yeah. yeah. Um, but no, listen. Thanks a million for taking the time out. No, any time. And. No. Uh, all the best for the rest yeah, of the season. Thank you for the coverage as well. I know that the, <laughs> lads, the, the lads are enjoying. No, good. Um, for the, I, I mean, even, even when I wasn't kind of like a, a, a <laughs> FC Edinburgh and I had a few friends who played there, you, you can definitely, your, your voice is kind of like uh, doing all the commentary. It's yeah, very, uh, well, very well known uh, in the FC anyway. I appreciate that. Thanks a million. It's <laughs> nice for coming on. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>